2.1 rocks. These are the keywords that you should know and be able to explain by the end of this chapter. Igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic, quartz, mica, feldspar, strata, bedding planes, joints, permeable, fossil, natural resource, offshore drilling, open cast mining, shaft mining, seam, denudation, weathering, erosion. Types of rock. The crust of the earth is made up of different types of rock. Rocks consist of minerals that have been cemented together. Rocks differ from each other in their colour, hardness, weight and in how they feel, their texture. Rocks are divided into groups according to how they were formed. The three major rock groups are igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic. Igneous. Igneous rocks form when hot magma cools down and solidifies. This can happen above the ground or underground. And two examples of igneous rocks are granite and basalt. Sedimentary. Sedimentary rocks form when the remains of other rocks, plants and animals are compressed and cemented together. Examples of sedimentary rocks are limestone, sandstone, coal and shale. And the two that we will learn about in detail is limestone and sandstone. Metamorphic. Metamorphic rocks form when igneous or sedimentary rocks change because of high heat or pressure. So metamorphic rocks were originally igneous or sedimentary. Examples of metamorphic rock are marble, quartzite and slate. And the two that we will learn about in detail are marble and quartzite. Rocks are formed in three ways. So igneous rocks are formed from either magma cooling down and solidifying below the ground or lava cooling down and solidifying above the ground. Sedimentary rocks are formed usually underneath the ocean where other rocks, plants and animals are compressed and cemented together and metamorphic rocks are formed by either sedimentary rocks or igneous rocks being changed due to high heat, usually from magma, or pressure from an earthquake at a fault line. Igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are formed when magma or lava cools down and solidifies. Granite and basalt are two of the most common igneous rocks. Granite. Granite is multicolored, coarse rock. So coarse meaning rough. It varies in colour and can be pink, white, black or grey. Granite is exposed when other layers of rock are eroded over millions of years. Granite formed when magma cooled underground within the earth's crust. Because the magma cooled slowly, large crystals formed in the rock. These crystals consist mostly of the minerals quartz and feldspar with smaller amounts of mica. As granite is a hard and durable rock, it is often used in the construction of buildings and in monuments. Granite is often used to make worktops for kitchens and hotels. Granite is found in the Wicklow Mountains and in the Mourne Mountains in County Down. So here's a photograph of a piece of granite. It can be pink, white, black or grey in colour. Granite is often used in buildings and monuments. So here's a monument made of granite. Basalt. Basalt is a dark, heavy rock. It varies in colour from dark grey to black. Basalt formed when lava cooled quickly above the ground. Because the lava cooled quickly, basalt has very small crystals that cannot be seen. It is often used as road chippings. Basalt is found in the Antrim Derry Plateau. The Giant's Causeway is part of this plateau. The Giant's Causeway is made up of distinctive six-sided hexagonal columns of basalt. It formed when lava spread out on the surface of the earth and cooled rapidly. As the lava cooled, it shrank and then cracked to form columns. Basalt is a dark rock, usually dark grey or black in colour. The Giant's Causeway is made up of six-sided columns of basalt.